Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Mike with Mike's Car Hole. Um, just doing a, a quick uh, video with my buddy Gonzales or Gonzo with um, Spawn Black Belt. We're gonna jump right into his interview. Uh, we filmed for his channel yesterday, and uh, I don't know if he's got it up yet, but uh, I figured I'd do a quick, quick thing here, and I'll post it on my channel as well. So we'll just dive right into the interview with Gonzo. Hey guys, uh, this is uh, Brian or Gonzo uh, with uh, Spawn Black Belt, uh, and I got Mike here from uh, Mike's Car Hole. So we're gonna do a quick, like one for one, back and forth, just to get an introduction, uh, and just to get you guys what we know of what's going on with either my channel as well as Mike, so that we can all get working to grow. Uh, so uh, quick introduction. Here's Mike. I'm gonna let him take a couple seconds and talk about himself. Hey, I'm Mike with Mike's Car Hole. Uh, I'm working here with my buddy Gonzalez, or Gonzo, if you will. Sorry about that. Uh, Gonzo, um, he's, he's going to talk to us a lot about what his future plans are. Uh, my future plans, I'm going to be mostly car content. You can see my C10 back here a little bit. Nice ride. Um, and then, I don't think you can see my other car. There's another cool car behind it. Uh, so, those, those two cars will be heavily featured on my channel. Um, so if you want to come over and check me out, I'm at Mike's Car Hole uh, on YouTube, and I'll also be on Rumble. All right. Uh, all right, so a uh, little background about myself for uh, Spawn Black Belt. Uh, background is that I have 11 and a half years in the Marine Corps uh, for martial arts. Uh, just due to the military standpoint, I, have a, uh, I had a gray belt in the Marine Corps for uh, Marine Corps Martial Arts. Yay me, hoorah. Uh, Semper Fi. <laughs> so that was great, uh, I loved it. So I carried it on uh, once my daughter came along to a, an age that she could be of, uh, to do it, uh, something to get her into an activity. We decided, my wife and I decided to get my daughter into martial arts. And we decided to go into Taekwondo. She actually is a, black belt she got went all the way through the program got a black belt we did it together I have my black belt I'm currently a first degree black belt uh, with with extended portions of it I have uh, weapons background as well uh, due to uh, program that I work with now the studio I go to is beyond black belt which helps for techniques developing techniques extend those same techniques as well as do weapons uh, such as katana uh, bow staff nunchucks uh, the comma the so the ninja turtle weapons oh yeah man we got to get them on <laughs> so uh, we have a lot of fun with those we do a lot of techniques uh, i'm currently yellow in all of those and green belt uh, kind of mixed bag on those uh, to have that kind of background uh, the one that I look up to within that program for martial arts uh, mostly is going to be Bruce Lee. Beyond that is going to be Chuck Norris just because of the military aspect of it. He was Air Force, by the way, so yeah, I just so you know. I got to give it to Air Force there. Air Force, Chuck <laughs> Norris. Chuck Norris, Air Force guy. <laughs> so I got to give it to Chuck. Uh, he's, a, he's a badass on himself, so I, I, I have to go for that. But Bruce Lee, by hands down, is going to be my man I look up to for martial arts. So, um, is there anything else I need to hit on that? Uh, yeah. Uh, so where do you where do you currently practice your martial arts, and uh, where where can we potentially find you if we wanted to go link up with you? Uh, currently, I'm in Fredericksburg for uh, at what's called Beyond Black Belt, and that is exactly what it is: is Beyond Black Belt. Almost all the students have a black belt or above, uh, and we do extensive techniques. To extend your actual technique and give you more of a proper uh, etiquette towards those techniques that we teach. So for a guy like me coming there, uh, I, I have some martial arts background but I never made it to the black belt. Would I be able to come in and practice with you guys? Yes, definitely. Uh, we can always show you into that program uh, and what we'll do is we'll just kind of do like a step-to-step -step program, weakest link program idea. Uh, whatever you feel comfortable that's what we're going to start with and then we're just going to slowly get you to a better technique or, and or better stance for what you're doing okay so your your channel is going to be uh, 
mostly focused around martial arts? Yes, definitely for most, mostly martial arts. Uh, but I will be, because I'm a motorcycle enthusiast, I do like to ride. Yes, sir. Um, so I do like to ride uh, when I can. Um, and I do have, uh, I have a 2002 Heritage Soft, Softail Standard. Yeah, Harley. I gotta, gotta ride a Harley. I think you're lying. I think you have a Vespa. You have a stretch Vespa. <laughs> oh, stretch Vespa. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, that would not be good. Uh, so, uh, but we're going to be talking about motorcycle operations, safety, uh, just to do like a T clocks, which is an inspection on a, when you go for your rides. Uh, outside of that, uh, we're just going to be talking about uh, humanitarian efforts or uh, basically just doing, talking about being the nice guy. Uh, say for example you're in a grocery store a gentleman or a woman in front of you is just digging for that last couple cents you standing behind them you're like oh come on let's get going just take that couple seconds and just be like hey i got it here you go here's my credit card or hey here's a dollar or two and just cover that that whatever it is you'd be surprised how far that would take that person to be oh my god you, you didn't have to do that kind of thing and that's what i want to teach same with uh driving uh, because of being a motorcycle rider, uh, safety, safety, safety is is biggest thing. Uh, and majority of today's society, they drive around uh, talking on their cell phones, not even paying attention to the other drivers, other riders, and it's getting to be a kind of a crazy thing. And I'm not feeling comfortable riding, so I'm gonna touch bases on that. Uh, as well as we're gonna do some emergency preparedness. Uh, based on martial arts and well as military background, that's gonna help build you as an individual for emergency preparedness. Well, some of the, some of the spots we can, we can uh, link up to is emergency preparedness. It's something that I'm pretty good at. And uh, we'll, kinda, we'll kinda link up with the motorcycles. I'm gonna have to learn, I know a lot of mechanics. <laughs> I know a lot of mechanics, but uh, the motorcycle is uh, confusing it to me. So you'll have to, you'll have to do some teaching me some some motorcycle stuff. I got no problem, and it might go both ways because I'm always looking to tinker around on a car. So, so you'll uh, you'll see in a few months. I'm going to buy a winter beater, and uh, I'll have you come over and uh, we'll learn some stuff, like learn how to paint, maybe. And uh, oh, I'm in trouble. <laughs> and you're you're going to learn some of my West Coast flavor because I'm going to slam it like the C10. So, hey, as long as it's not uh, Marine Corps crayons, right? Is that the way you want it? You know, I mean, I'll keep those on hand if you're hungry. <laughs> If you need a snack, yeah, sound good. If you need a snack. I'll get you. I'll get you some crayons. All right, All right guys. Hey, just want to give a quick shout out, uh, Mike and Mike Carhol. Uh, just want to say thanks again for watching the the video. Uh, just give a like, dislike, comment, share. I don't care. Just get it away. Get it all out there, uh, and then we'll go from there. Thanks again. Y'all have a good evening, and we'll see you in the near future.